And if, well, if we hear that there's somebody not going to make it, let us know so we can close that gap down or leave a gap for them. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to do this whole thing um, if we all just sort of work together and, and get everybody ready to go. So. Hey, first pitch of day? Feel good, man, you know? Everybody doesn't like getting up early in the morning, that's for sure. But once we get here, I think everybody enjoys themselves. All right, guys, that looks good. Eyes up here. Here we go. One, two. Stay right there. One, two. Perfect. All right, let's go to groups. All right, fellas. One, two. Last one. One, two, three. All right, you guys are good. Let's get one pick us being ourselves, though. All right. We can rub on the the thing about uh, picture days, you hope the picture means a lot down the road. I was just talking to my brother Lamar about how really the only team photo we ever see is the 69 championship team. I certainly hope that today's photos have the same importance down the road as that one. We've been going to the Chiefs games for about 30 years, and my husband and I had season tickets before we were married, and the puppet thing actually came about through a white elephant gift that I had received. So we originally took it to the games just to kind of keep our girls occupied, and then we found some other uh, little puppets, and it was always a neat way to start the game off. And the Chiefs take the field, ready to meet the Colts on Sunday. Or, you know, if we needed some, a little extra punch, then I could get the opposing one on there. So I don't have all the puppets, but I do have all of the helmets um, that are in the Although NFL. putting on a puppet yeah. show may not be yeah. the main attraction on Sundays at Arrowhead Stadium, um, for so the Curbajo family, Supporting their chiefs has become a performance in itself. A tradition that has been cemented into some of the biggest moments in Chiefs Kingdom history. Let's see, which ones? You want to go that way? Oh, this is by far a favorite because we had this when we were up for the loudest stadium we were playing against the Patriots, I think, that game. It has to be the loudest. We'll go a long way from the future Hall of Fame QB, Tom Brady. And so we had that sign and we were going crazy because Seattle was also trying to break the record as well, but we won and we're still the winners of that. 142.2, a new world's record. Arrowhead Stadium is once again the loudest stadium in the NFL. Seattle, can you hear us now? Um, then we went to the Chicago game and we had known that Mahomes could have gone to Chicago and they didn't take him. So we took this and we did not have our dad to protect us. And so it was just four girls carrying this sign, getting booed by every Chicago fan. But Chicago we ended Bears. up winning, so it all turned out to be good. Kansas City stays hot as the Chiefs get the victory and the Bears fall um, to seven and eight. The, the game that Patrick was hurt, and so Matt Moore filled in. He did an awesome job, so we knew we were going to make one for him. So we had that one. And even without Mahomes, Chiefs have more. So that was awesome because it is good. If there was a memorable moment for the Chiefs, there's no doubt that you may see a puppet or a sign not far from the action. And with the playoffs looming in the near future, the ending to the regular season against the Chargers proved to be no exception. Number one, Philip Rivers has always been like one that I just love beating because um, he kind of cries and throws a fit. And now there's movement and the crowd is happy. They know they caused that one as well. Ball star charge. And so we made this sign, should have kept Breeze. And then this is by far the favorite moment of that game. The Los Angeles seven yard line. 2.42 to go in the game. Chiefs first and goal at the seven now. Hand off Damian Williams to the right. They clear it out. Keeps his head on the ground. Dive! Touchdown! Kansas City! Damian. We were checking our phones the entire time. And whenever the Dolphins scored their touchdown. Butker kicks the extra point. And Fitzpatrick throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Miami! I'm getting confused. What game are you calling? I'm calling both games. Oh, okay, so... And they win. No, they're not. That's why. I'm 
My dad made this sign, had the marker board ready to go for whatever the score was, and our whole entire section started going crazy, and that was one of the coolest moments, I think, at Arrowhead. And the crowd now knows it. What a throw by Fitzpatrick. What a touchdown run by Williams. What a beat, baby. And the Chiefs get the bye in the playoffs with an incredible last 15 minutes to this regular season. There's nothing like being at Arrowhead. The people and the fans are awesome. I mean, it is. It's just like one big family. And like today, you know, we're just getting ready to, to watch the games so that we can maybe check out our opponents and see, you know, who we need to look out for. It's go time now. Ain't no more talking. The wild card weekend certainly lived up to its name. Playoff football, baby. Everybody play the game. Welcome to the playoffs, baby. With all four games settled by one score. Hey, you stop them the rest of the night, we're going to win. Go, man. And when all the dust had settled, the long-awaited unveiling of the Chiefs' divisional round opponent was finally clear. Bear, bear, for the win. Got it. The Houston Texans were heading to Kansas City. You got what it takes, OK? All right, you are one of eight teams left. That's a great job, guys. Great, great. And although Houston was able to get the better of the Chiefs during their week six match, for the end zone touchdown. This team is different and healthier. Down several key starters in their first go round, Kansas City now has one of their leaders back, as linebacker Anthony Hitchens will face the Texans for the very first time this season. Yeah, for us, we, we, grew, we grew a lot uh, from week six, and as you should, uh, as an individual player and as a team. Uh, if you don't grow from week six, then, you know, you're not working. So we grew a lot. Hey, let's have a day. Best day of our lives, man. So here we go, here we go. Back to three. One, two, three. Linebacker from Iowa, number 53, Anthony Hitchin. I think every year is different. Uh, we had injuries this year. We had games where we didn't play well as a team or well as a defense or, well, you know, just it's every year is different. Uh, every week is different. So it helps you grow. And I think we got hot and clicked at the right moment. And a big time hit. Tackle. No Good tackle, tackle, baby. Good tackle, baby. Good tackle. He's buried. Frank Clark. Oh, this one is the end. Look at that. Stand up. We live. Live in the man. We're growing as a team, you know, and everyone's getting closer and closer, and we just keep building. And just throughout the whole process, we just kept blocking the noise out, good or bad. So hopefully everybody builds some confidence, but uh, every week is a new week, so. Kept playing, kept playing, and uh, it's starting to pay off, but I mean, we're not done yet. And now they try a screen, and Anthony Hitchens reads it and spins <laughs> Derrick Henry no to the sir. ground for a loss. No, sir! No, sir! Most guys, uh, you know, Never been in this position. We deserve a field. Uh -huh. Understand that. Every game, there's less and less teams, and uh, we were so close last year. I mean, we're ready for this challenge, uh, and that's not gonna guarantee us no one. But we ain't gonna have no regrets. We're going out there, you know, firing all bullets, and then you know, just let the game go. While Anthony Hitchens and the Chiefs' defense is focused on stopping Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans, Tennessee's unexpected upset of the top-seeded Baltimore Ravens handles the contact. Has home field advantage in the AFC now up for grabs, with the winner on Sunday hosting the AFC Championship game. The Chiefs have never won in the divisional playoff round in consecutive seasons. They could do that today. The Chiefs have never hosted AFC Championship games in consecutive seasons. They could set that up today. 24 combined years of pro service from players Tyron Matthew, LaShawn McCoy, and Bershawn Breland. They've never won a playoff game. Hey, y'all look at me right here. Oh. We were built for moments like this. Hey. Play together, play fast, and let's go. Hey, hey, I feel blessed to be out here with y'all today, man. Let's go out here and ball out. Hey, all we need is us. Hey, do y'all want 11? And guess what? A little bit more, baby. Let's go. Keep them cameras on me, dog. Keep the camera! The biggest injury news for the Chiefs, Chris Jones, the calf injury suffered Thursday in practice. He has been ruled out. Everybody know what's on the line, man. Every play, every moment, because these are moments you can't get back, man. These are moments you can't get back. Hell, time we ain't playing. Strictly business, nothing personal. The team that wins this game will host 
the AFC Championship because of last night's activities in Baltimore. The Chiefs, the highest remaining seed in the AFC playoffs, and Mahomes and company, six straight wins coming into this one. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Hey, do what y'all do. Let's go. Without a food, the championship. Let's have it. Let's go. We got 60 minutes in this day. Houston, you're the visitor. You'll call the toss. What's your call, sir? Tails. Tails is the call. He's called Tails. It is a Tails who have won the toss. Houston has won the toss and is elected to receive. First strategic move of the day. Bill O'Brien wins the toss and wants the ball. It tells you that he wants to do what he did on October the 13th and have the ball for 40 minutes. Houston has been notoriously slow starting this season. Interesting, Tony. They they win the toss and want the football on the road to begin it. Well, I can tell you right now, they have to get off to a good start. You don't want to get behind. Trust me, trust me. I'm there for you, watching for you all day. I got you. I got you. 12-21 in the first quarter. The Texans won the toss and took the ball. So far, they're doing what they want. Watson will throw. Fires it left side. He's got a man wide open. It's going to be a Texan touchdown. Kenny Stills as the Chiefs blow coverage. A 54-yard touchdown pass. Let's go, baby. Third and six. Pass dropped by Kelsey. Would have had the first down. That's just too bad. I mean, the first playoff game he ever had was in 15. He had eight catches for 128. The five other playoff games, only five for 59. And that would have been a nice way to get it started. Either way, though, it's fourth down. You've got to make sure and get the field flip. Texans. Block the punt! It is blocked at the 10-yard line and picked up at the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Houston Texans on a block punt. Here we go, here we go. And this stadium is stunned. Let's keep playing. Play it as if it's 0-0, zero, zero, right? Oh, yeah. Don't let don't do anything different than what we planned on doing, right? 14 to nothing, Houston. At 3.08 to go first quarter is Watson trying to get away. He'll be sacked! And down he goes. Frank Clark sacks Deshaun Watson. You're not ready for me here. Listen up. Just think about this. All right, we ain't going to panic. We're going to be forward. Second down, goal to go for Watson at the four. And it zips it over the middle, and it's going to be caught for a Texan touchdown to Fells. It is 21 to nothing, Houston, at 121 to go in the first quarter. Hey, D. Hey. Let's rally up. A lot of it's out of our control. Do what we do best. Let's hang in there. It's the hard season, no matter what. Let's find the top, baby. Let's find one. Texans just used another 4.55 on the clock and drove 38 yards to a field goal by Fairbairn, and it's 24 to nothing. So the Chiefs need a game-flipping play of some sort. Come on, Cole. I need you, boy. Come on. Let's show them what Cole 2 look like, boy. Cole Hardman takes it at the one-yard line. Now veers to the right side. He gets to the 20, 25, 30. He's got a block. He's at the 40 on the angle, midfield. At the 45, stops and stays inbounds. He's up the sideline and all the way down to the Houston 25-yard line, a 58-yard return. A big special teams play. Get the offense going. and gets this crowd back into the ball game. Take into the line and the toss up top. And there is Kelsey. And he takes it all the way down to about the 16. And watch him go. 24 to nothing, Houston. Five minutes into the the second quarter. Middle blitz picked up. Left side throw caught. 10 5 touchdown. Damian Williams touchdown. Kansas City on a shoot route to the running back for 17 yards and a touchdown. What are you coming, Doug? You ain't done, though. You need more. You need more. You wanted to get back in the game. You did that. You got a big kickoff return, and then you're in the end zone. They're playing mad coverage. We catch the ball, make one person miss his touchdown. Right. Right. Do something special. They do something special. They're already counting us out. One play at a time. Do something special. We got everything we want. We got to make the play. 24 to 7, Houston. 8:32 to go, second quarter. That's a fake punt. They fake the right side and tackle. Short of the first down. Great play. Dirty Dan Sorensen would not be fooled. Let's go. Let's go. And giving his team great field. 
position and how quickly this is starting to shift, Jim. I know you thought it was over, but I told you, this Don't team is explosive. Don't put those words in my mouth. <laughs> and the Chiefs are in the red zone on the second goal at the five. If Mahomes takes the snap, steps up, being pressured, fires it late, caught, Kelsey dies! Touchdown! Kansas City on the near side! The Kansas City Chiefs have scored two touchdowns in a span of two minutes and 49 seconds! He's still down! Oh, he's still down! It's energy! He's energy, energy, energy! Energy! We keep beating each other! Energy, baby! Butker's previous kicks in this first half have all been deep and for touchbacks. Taken by Carter at the 15, veers to the right, gets a 20, balls out, picked up by Thompson, Thompson 15 to the 10, he's down to the 8-yard line, D-Train's got it, game on at Arrowhead. 24-14 Houston, 6.39 to go, second quarter, Mahomes holding it, holding it, now fires it late, Kelsey, touchdown, Kansas City, 20 points in lightning fashion. squandered down to three in just a matter of three and a half minutes. You just don't see this. Third and 12, Houston. Watson takes the snap. Four-man rush, sets it up over the middle, pass is broken up! And an outstanding pass broken up by Tyron Matthew. That's red, dude. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 24-21, Houston. 2.43 to go in the second quarter. Here's Mahomes' pass. Houston, 50 seconds remaining in the first half. Kelsey trots in motion across the face of Mahomes, who sprints out to the left side. He's holding it, throws it late, it's caught, touchdown! Kansas City, the Chiefs take the lead! Let's go, what? Let's go! I love having Patrick Mahomes on my team. A 51-yard attempt by Kaimi Fairbairn with three seconds to go in the second quarter. Fairbairn's kick, and it is going sideways right. The Chiefs would erase a 24-point deficit in a single quarter, en route to the largest comeback in franchise history. And as the second half got underway in Kansas City, the Chiefs would never look back. Drives it in for the touchdown. Down Watson goes! Frank Clark like a shark. I'm a, I'm a winner. I like winning. Touchdown, Kansas City! Blake Bell! Watson takes the snap. Here comes pressure. And Frank Clark takes him down! And the Chiefs will close it out and get ready to host an AFC Championship we game. We come back! They're the first team ever to win by 20 after trailing by at least 20. We got a bigger goal in mind. Stay tuned. We thank y'all for coming out. We love the support. We're going to be back next week. Oh, oh. Hey! Hey, you remember what? How about those? That's a hell of a win, man. That's all mindset, that's all heart, that's all fight. That's a way to stick together and fight. We're coming back on Monday. We're getting in there. We're making sure that our mind is right and we're physically right to go out there and win at our home AFC Championship this week. Yeah. Hey, take that, man. Chiefs on three, one, two, three. Chiefs. Well, our victory over the Houston Texans yesterday is one of the most memorable games, certainly in Chiefs history. Obviously, the game had a lot riding on it as the winner got to advance to the AFC Championship game and even better, got to host the game. This team, though, I think has uh, a resolve and also the experience to hopefully win the championship this year. I know my dad would be thrilled to see Kansas City getting to host the AFC Championship games and hopefully win the championship. Come in here tight, come in here tight. Fellas, understand this. You would never, ever experience what you did ready to experience today, day 18. You don't get no better than this right here, man. We ready for the challenge. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, but we built for this. Four quarters, let's finish. Here we go. Hey, no, I promise y'all, we deserve to be here. Believe, believe. Team on three, one, two, three. Up 
opportunities in the National Football League can be very fleeting. And today, a huge opportunity to win the Lamar Hunt Trophy. We don't get these opportunities often, man. We were blessed to be in this position another year. It is the Chiefs and the Titans for an incredible opportunity to go to Super Bowl 54 in Miami. An eerily similar start to the divisional round game saw the Chiefs down double digits to start the AFC Championship. But after coming back from a 24-point deficit just a week prior, a 10-point comeback could be easily mounted with number 15 at the helm. 10 to nothing, Tennessee. 50 seconds to go, first quarter. Flip pass, left it goes, Tyree Kill. 10, 5, Cheetah touchdown! Full on speed! And the Chiefs are on the board. Let's go, now. We got some to beat, man. Tennessee, three possessions. Field goal, touchdown, touchdown. And now Patrick Mahomes, feeling like he's in a tennis match, gets serve again. Three man rush. Now throw left side, caught! Tyree Kill! Touchdown! Kansas City! The second of the game for the Cheetah! Mahomes has now set an all time Kansas City Chiefs record for playoff touchdowns. Who rolling, baby? Let's go! Chiefs two touchdowns in the last two drives. Can they do it again? 23 seconds left, second quarter. Mahomes moving to his left laterally, chased, holding it, and gets out of bounds and up the sideline. He's not out of bounds yet. He's at the 10, inside the 10, he dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A remarkable acrobatic scramble on a 27-yard run. Maybe the best play yet of Patrick Mahomes' incredible young career. I tell you, from the second quarter of last week when they scored seven straight possessions, to what's happened right here in this game, down 10-0. to This quarterback has played at a level you just don't see very often. Patrick Mahomes, rare. Wow. Wow. We got so much stuff, y'all. We got a cheetah. We got MVP. We even got a jet to get us to Miami. Despite the disparity in time of possession, the Chiefs' offensive attack would pick up right where they left off in the first half. Williams in the corner! He's got another postseason touchdown! Scott, we need more, right? We need more! We need more! One more, more! Third and six for Mahomes at his own 40. He throws it long! He's got a man in the middle of the field! Watkins! 15, 10, 5, angling left! Touchdown! Kansas City, a 60-yard touchdown! But it would be the defense who would put an exclamation point on the game, booking Kansas City's ticket to Miami. He is sacked! Down goes Tannehill! Hey, dog! Let's go do our job, dog! They're gonna run a screen near side to Henry. He's hit and taken down! Hey. Dirty Dan Sorensen! Keep the camera on him! Hey, hey. Tannehill's in trouble. Now fires it late. Cut, and they're going to bury Derrick Henry for a loss. Tannehill takes the snap. Four-man rush over the middle. Pass broken up. The Honey Badger got it again. It is fourth down for the Titans. 128 to go in the game. Fourth and six for the Titans from their own 35. They only have one timeout remaining. Now they can't get the play call. They're trying to hear it. Two seconds, one second. They snap it just in time to avoid a delay of game. Tannehill under pressure. Frank Clark knocks him down. Tannehill goes down. Shark infested waters. Stay out of the water because Frank Clark has just given Kansas City its first trip to the Super Bowl in 50 years. going to be good for a long time. There is no doubt. There is no doubt the Chiefs should have a glorious long stretch ahead and it really begins now. Hail! Hail to the king of the Chiefs kingdom forever! B. 
because today the team that Lamar Hunt founded has just won Lamar Hunt's trophy in the stadium that was Lamar Hunt's dream. Kansas City is the AFC champion. They are headed to Miami for Super Bowl 54. Let's go get us one. To bring back oh my God. the legends, oh, come on, man. we ain't done yet. To present oh, we ain't done. the Lamar Hunt Trophy to the Hunt family. Hey, Kansas City fans, we're bringing Lamar Hunt back to Kansas City. Congratulations. I can't even imagine what it means to have in your possession the trophy that bears your father's name. What is this moment like for you and this organization right now? Well, I'm almost speechless. First of all, I want to congratulate Andy, Patrick, and all his teammates on an incredible performance today. And this trophy belongs to the best fans in the National Football League. Chiefs Kingdom, we're going to the Super Bowl. Man, we're just fired up to be sitting right here. Hey, on three, can we just give it one? How about those cheese? One, two, three. How about those cheese? We love every minute of this, and we appreciate every minute of this, but it's not done. Well, it's not done. Patrick Mahomes. Why don't you pass that around? Get your hands on it. Over to Tyron. Travis to his left. I'll tell you what, it's been seven years coming, baby. I learned one thing since I've been here. You gotta fight for your right to fight! <laughs> That's it from here. The Chiefs are the AFC champions. This is not about me, it's not about the Chiefs, man. It's about the people of Kansas City. Oh, man, hey, that's that's what talk about, dog. Man, we got one more to go, and then we'll be done. That is AFC champion Tyron Matthew. You did it, bro! Hey. All right, hey, that's the first of all, hey, first of all, congratulations. We already gave it to Go Chiefs. 60,000 people had it today. Huh? Doesn't get any better than that. Porter, get up here, man. Give us the yeah. time. Yeah. So we got to get ready to go to the Super Bowl. So. Hey, I'm proud of every single one of y'all, man. But we aren't done yet. We got we got a whole whole week and then a whole nother week to get ready to go to Miami. Let's go do it, baby. Let's do it. Chiefs 0 3, 1, 2, 3. Chiefs. Oh, baby. I want to see this bad boy. Yeah, let me get one of the first. Yeah, I believe, dude. 15 years, baby. Let's get the big one, man. Let's get the big one.